Good morning, folks. It's Saturday, February 1st, 2014. And I'm here today to try to either prove or disprove some of the videos I have been watching on YouTube this past week about how the snow has something strange going on with it. I've been seeing people putting a match or a torch or a lighter to the snow that they get from their yards and have been seeing the snow getting a blackened edge on it. Um, people are describing that it has a funny plastic smell, burnt plastic. So I'm intrigued to say the least. And this is an experiment that I think I should have no problem working on because I live in the UP of Michigan and so far we have over 200 inches of snow where I live. So I'm going to go get some snow in this bowl and come back here and take a lighter to it, see what happens. So here we go. Got my bowl. I'm going to go into my back porch. Head into the back deck here. And here's my yard. My back deck, dog chain. Um, as you can see, I have an abundance. <laughs> There's no lack of snow here. Um, let's just go and get a nice big bowl full of snow. Here's our snow. And we're going to go in to the house because it's already pretty cold out here. Alright, here we are back at the testing spot. I've got my bowl of snow and I'm going to make a snowball here. Get a nice big handful, crunch it up, make a snowball. Okay, here's my snowball. I'm going to set it down for a minute because I'm here by myself and I have to prop up my camera so I can work with both hands. Bear with me. There. Okay. So, here's the snow. Here's the lighter. Got a nice little piece hanging off here. Here we go. Let's melting. I can see some little black edges on it as I do this. Yeah, we're getting some blackened edges already. Here on the snowball. Give it another minute or so. I'm going to let this snowball try to get to melt down to about halfway. And we'll see what we get. Because some of the other claims I've been seeing from one in particular that I can remember that uh, the gentleman claimed that there wasn't any ice puddle underneath his snowball when he was melting it. Now, I've got maybe a couple drips here, but I'm starting to think that what that gentleman said is true because I don't see any puddle at all forming underneath this snowball. I'll give you guys a glimpse here in a minute. Um, I'm just going to keep on burning this here. And it definitely is turning like a dark brown color. And I can already smell a funky, burnt plasticky smell. Okay, I've got it about halfway. I don't know if you all can see that. I'm going to take this over to some better lighting. Maybe we can see it better here under my stove light. Oh, yeah. So check that out. 
that's the snow that I just melted. And when I, whew, when I take a whiff, it almost reminds me of like a burnt styrofoam, burnt plastic kind of a smell. Um, here's where I was melting it. Here's the bowl. Here's the little homemade prop thing that I have with my canister for my camera. And this is the area where I was melting it right here. There's not a single drop on this counter. And here's your burnt snow. So, I guess that goes to prove that uh, this is not a hoax, people. Um, I really don't have an explanation for this other than to say that I believe it would be chemtrailing causing this. That's my first guess. Uh, I really don't know what else could be causing it. I do believe that our government and possibly some private private entities also are working hand in hand to engineer our weather and to uh, modify our, our environment. And it's, it's just wrong. I don't know what the after effects of this will be. I would be careful letting your children play in the snow or your dogs running through it. I mean, I have no choice. I have to go out there and shovel the stuff almost every day. Um, otherwise, I'll be buried. So um, it's, it's not normal. The snow has definitely got a burnt edge to it. So that's all I got for today, folks. Take care. Thanks for watching.